What it do, Tao Clan? It's your boy Tori from Top Zeke back again with another video, guys. Today's video is gonna be made by special request. So last week I did a video about no fap. What I'll tell you guys why fapping is okay, but why porn might not be the best thing for you. And before I started that video, I asked you in the comment section below to let me know what kind of video would you guys like to see more of or any kind of topic you would like me to talk about. So there were two comments that really stood out to me. The first one was, you guys said you want to see more daily vlogs where I talk about workouts and how I eat and all that good stuff. And you know what? I'm down with that. Moving on forward, guys, more vlogs. The only thing is, I can't do them daily just because of my schedule. But hopefully, as you know, Tao Clan grows and Tao Z grows, I'll be able to have more time to do more uploads per week. But right now, we have to stick with just two to maximum three uploads per week. Then there was another comment right below that one that asked how to gain confidence. Before I go any further into this, I want you guys to know this. I am not a therapist, right? I am just a personal trainer. Even though, yes, in my job, I pretty much act like a fake therapist where I have to listen to people's problems. I am not a professional at this, right? So you need to take my advice with a grain of salt and don't get mad typing all rubbish in the comment section below just because you don't agree with what I'm saying. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my perspective on how to gain confidence and become a more confident, more self-assured, you. I believe that confidence is very situational. Just because you're confident in one aspect of your life doesn't mean you're confident in every single thing. For example, you might be an amazing boxer, able to knock people out and so confident in the ring, but you might absolutely lack confidence when you're in the classroom and you're doing some math homework. So you can't really expect to be confident in every single arena of your life that is just not realistic. You kind of have to pick and choose. If you feel like you're not confident in a certain area, you need to focus on that area to become more confident. Because for the most part, confidence or lack of confidence comes from a lack of experience. The more experience you gain in something, the more reps you get doing something, the more confidence you get. So for example, when I first started YouTube, your boy was a nervous wreck, man. I was like, uh, 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 protein, uh, uh, you know, got, got to work out. <laughs> yeah, man, it wasn't, it wasn't that good. The more I started to make videos and the more I stood behind the camera, the easier it got for me to express myself and be, you know, behind the camera and do YouTube. But I only got that through repetition, right? And that is the same thing that's gonna be for you in anything you choose. If you feel like you lack confidence in something, once you get more repetitions and more experience in that thing, your confidence is going to grow naturally. For the most part, some of us, we find it very hard to gain that experience in the first place because something tends to hold us back from taking action. And that thing is fear. Whenever you live in fear, it really robs you from a lot of life's amazing experiences, right? Because when you're afraid of stuff, you just don't do anything. You just stay in your house all the time because you're so freaking scared. So here's the thing, fear is totally normal. It is what kept us alive, it is what keeps us here to this day. Because if we had no fear, man, we'll be doing some pretty dumb stuff, guys. We'll be diving into flames, you know, jumping up planes with no parachutes because we're not afraid of dying. But that fear is what actually keeps us alive and keeps us going. But for the most part, some of the fear that we feel nowadays is just not justifiable, right? Because I've looked at my analytics and I see that a lot of you guys that watch me are dudes. No duh, because I say for the ladies, right? I'm sure you guys have probably felt this, that maybe you're walking down the streets, do, 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 and then you now see this smoking hot busy and you're like, oh my God, she's mad sexy, man. Oh God damn, Woo! I want to go talk to her, oh, man. My heart is beating. I don't know if I can do it, man. I'm scared. I'm afraid. Now, think for a second what happens when you listen to your fear. You don't talk to her. Nothing happens. Now, let's just say you overcome your fear and you actually go talk to this BD. Now, let's imagine the worst case scenario. She tells you, You're freaking ugly. Smug thinking he had a chance with me. <laughs> uh -huh. 
And I'm sure if something like that happened to you, you'd be pretty butthurt. But guess what, man? After your ego settles and, you know, that hurt goes away, you're still alive. You can still breathe. You can probably still see. You can still meet another busy and bang the hell out of her later. So why is it that that fear stops you from making a move? Now, think about what would have happened if you actually overcame your fear and at the end, she was actually into you. You might have an amazing relationship with this woman. In fact, this woman might become the love of your life. But you wouldn't know that unless you act regardless of your fear. Now, that's the thing. When, when we see confident people or people that seem to be very confident, we think, oh man, they ain't scared of nothing, man. They have no fear. But that's not true. The most confident people, they still feel fear. The only difference is they take action regardless of their fear. You need to understand, for you to gain the valuable experience, you need to accept the fear, embrace the fear, realize that it's normal, that you're not crazy or there's nothing wrong with you for feeling afraid, but you still need to move forward regardless. Because if you don't, you're, you're probably just missing out on a lot of stuff, man. And you're not gonna become as confident as you could be because you're not getting in those reps. But here's the thing, fear can be so overwhelming, right? And there is one strategy to be able to help you reduce your fear, and that is through visualization. Visualization, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh man, Tomei, that's foo foo, dude. Jesus, where the hell is this channel going, man? This guy's lost his mind. But guys, chill out. Now, the thing with visualization is this, though. You don't want to visualize you just winning. Now, that's just half the battle. You want to actually visualize yourself from where you currently are right now, and you also want to visualize all the struggles you're going to overcome to become the best you. The truth is, in, in life, man, you're going to go through obstacles. You're going to go through struggles. It's not going to be one straight line, one easy thing. You have to also imagine that you're going to have obstacles and things are going to get in your way. And when you visualize those experiences, when it actually does happen in real life, you're gonna be like, oh, oh yeah, you know what? I've been here before. Oh yeah, I wonder what was in my mind. This seems familiar. And you're gonna act a lot more confident. But the key with this though, guys, is even though we're gonna use visualization to help us get more reps, you still need to do real reps. You can't use visualization as an excuse to just stay in your room all day and just do nothing. And just be like, oh, I'm visualizing, I'm becoming more confident. Nah, that doesn't work. You still need to do the reps because that physical act of really doing it is what's the most important. And the visualization is just like a supplement. It kind of helps you get a little bit more done faster. But you really have to take action. That is really the most important thing. When it comes to gaining more confidence, you just have to just steamroll your way through and just keep taking action and through repetition through movement through gaining that momentum you can gain more confidence confidence is really a form of self-trust because if you feel like you lack confidence in yourself it really just means you don't trust yourself and guys i want you to realize that you can do anything that you put your mind to absolutely anything and whatever decision you choose to make is the right one and you just have to trust yourself that you're always making the right decisions and that whatever goals you want to achieve that they're totally achievable it's that trust that will really give you that self-confidence so you need to give yourself positive affirmations and realize that you can do anything anything you can think of you can probably make real so really you just need to trust yourself and trust your ability to create your own world that's really it that's what confidence really is developing that self-trust so guys, love yourselves, trust yourselves. So with that guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. If you guys like this content, you know what to do. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have subscribed to the channel, man, go ahead and subscribe already because you know it is cool up in here. And to all my fellas, don't forget who we do for guys, the ladies, or should I say, Dumbbezies. Peace.